Hello, everyone. This is Mark Jones, Senior Pastor of Memorial Baptist Church in Stanton, Virginia. And uh, if this seems a little grainy or the lighting is bad, it's because I'm on the road right now and doing the best I can. At least I was when I was recording this. Uh, I have a, um, a devotion that was written by my friend uh, Gary Holwiler, fraternity brother. He has a book called uh, Fear Not, and uh, you can get that it's on Amazon.com or other book sources. Uh, it's a great devotion book, and I highly recommend it. We've taken a number of devotions out of this. Uh, this devotion is called His Understanding is Infinite. From Luke 12, verses 6 through 7, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than any sparrows. There's the old saying that says, a dime a dozen, meaning something was cheap and could easily be acquired. Back in Jesus' day, apparently you could get 25 sparrows for 10 cents. The point is, they are abundant, and yet God does not lose sight of one of them. God also knows the ever-changing count of the number of the hairs on our head, though some may take a little longer to count than others. Thank you for putting that in, Gary. Anyway, uh, the psalmist tells us he counts the numbers of the stars. He calls them all by name. That's Psalm 147.4. This verse was not written to prove God is good with math or has a great memory. Rather, it is to prove that God is omniscient, meaning he is all-knowing. Psalms 147.5 says his understanding is infinite. So what does having an omniscient God mean to you? It means that even if God is multitasking, he has never lost sight of you or me. I think there are times in life when we uh, have all felt invisible, or worse yet, wonder if anyone ever cares about what happens to us. God knows every need that you have, even before you know that you have need of it. Reads, we read in Isaiah 64, 65, 24, it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are still speaking, I will hear. Maybe God is just waiting to hear from you. Have you called upon him today? Also reading from Psalms 121 verses 3 through 8. <clears throat> he will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. So, do not be afraid, for an all-knowing God is watching over you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for never losing sight of me. May I never again believe the lies of the enemy that you do not care about me. I am treasured by the creator of the universe. I will fear no evil for you are watching over me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for the opportunity to meet with you. I'll be praying for you. We'll see you again in a couple of days. God bless you.